so I'm finally getting my hair cut today. I just washed my hair because I, like, I just can't logically go and get my hair cut and have somebody touching my hair without washing it. Even though, as in the States, they're probably gonna wanna wash my hair first anyway, which I get, but I, get, it's, I have to have clean underwear when I leave the house. It's a thing. So about a year ago, Alex cut my hair. He gave me a trim. Okay, so it's distinctly, one, it's not fully dry, but it's definitely longer here than here, Sorry. but that's okay. We'll get over it, it's not that big of a deal. And while I'm okay with Alex cutting it again, what I really want is not a trim so much as an actual, like I want it short in the back, maybe a little longer in the front because it's hot. Just as it was last year, it's hot, it's 100 degrees, it's not okay. And so I want my hair cut, kind of like a bob, short, short, short. And for that, I want a little better precision than Alex is currently able to give me. Get my hair cut. A random small place. I'm back, it was a super fast cut. I am, like in the US, I am definitely a great clips slash hair cuttery type of girl. I just want it to be cut, I want it to be fast, and so that's what I was hoping for. It's exactly what I got. She put some keratin something in my hair so it's super soft, and I'm just, I am loving it. much shorter now, perfect for 100 degree weather. And so this cost 70 pesos, which is $3.50. Obviously I also gave her a tip. I am loving the short haircut and really, I, like I should have done this earlier. I was strangely intimidated to get my haircut in Mexico because of language barrier, I don't know. But hair is hair, they absolutely know how to cut it, so it works out. Now again, I am a hair cuttery type of girl, so I specifically went to a place that had the equivalent of hair cuttery prices, but they definitely have fancier salons here where you can pay much more. Obviously, if I had dyed my hair or, or done any other kind of treatment, that would definitely cost more. So, so I don't wanna give the impression that Mexico only has inexpensive haircuts, but if you're looking for an inexpensive haircut, we definitely do have it here. So the question is, what else should I do to pamper myself this month?